Hi guys, HitGuru here. I hope you're all well. HitVision's ColorView 3.0 is finally here, bringing sharper images, smarter features, and improved performance. In this video, we'll unbox it, install it, compare it side by side with ColorView 2.0. We'll also be taking a look at Hikvision's latest Audio 2.0 featuring dual array microphones and showcasing the difference compared to the original single microphone. And I'll also be demonstrating how to set up the audible voice alarm and strobe light designed to scare off any unwanted visitors. Make sure you don't go anywhere, there's a chance to win this camera later in the video. So this is the ColorView 2.0, this one's a 4 megapixel version but it still performs rather well. Now at night it still does a decent job, providing that colourful image, but you can see the clarity takes a bit of a hit. Now moving to the new ColorView 3.0, this one's 8 megapixel and you can instantly see the boost in clarity and detail. At night time, the image is noticeably brighter with much sharper detail and richer, more vibrant color across the entire image. Side by side, it's easy to see how much cleaner and sharper the 3.0 really is. Next, we'll switch over to a much darker environment where the new noise reduction really makes all the difference. Now this is the ColorView 2.0 in a dark garden at night time. It's using its built-in ambient light to help brighten the scene. But when you do zoom in, there's quite a bit of noise distortion visible in the image. Now here is the ColorView 3.0 in the same dark garden. The camera has decided that there's no need for the ambient light this time. You can see the image is even clearer. Colours pop way more and with far less noise distortion even when you zoom in. As you can see the garden is very dark. I'm now going to demonstrate the audio alarm and the strobe light that comes on upon detecting motion. So if we traverse this path, come into view with the camera. Attention please, the area is under surveillance. Oh no, everybody run! Attention please, the area is under surveillance. Now this has to be one of my favourite features, the voice alerts and the strobe light. It instantly grabs your attention as soon as motion is detected. Now this is a super cool feature on these new cameras. They can run in infrared black and white mode for stealth, then flip to full colour the moment motion is detected. So you can see exactly what's going on while also spooking whoever's there with the light. Oh my goodness me. Alexa, call the police. There's four people in the garden. Just a quick heads up. If you want to enter the giveaway to win this camera, you'll need to remember this keyword, Guru. Keep that in mind for later when I explain how to enter. I'm now going to show you what the old original single microphone camera sounded like. And then after that, I'll show you what the new Audio 2.0 sounds like in comparison. So this is the original camera with only one single microphone. You've probably noticed it's not as clear as you're about to see with the newer Audio 2.0. Now you're hearing this through Hikvision's latest Audio 2.0. We've got two built-in microphones. That means clearer, more directional sound, even when I'm over here. Or even all the way back here. Pretty good for a CCTV microphone. That was Hikvision's Audio 2.0. Such a massive improvement. Now how do we set up the Audible Alarm and Strobe Light? Jump onto your computer, go onto your web browser and type in your NVR's IP address. If you're unsure of the IP, simply go onto Hikvision's SADP tool and look for the device's IP and bang it into your search bar. And simply log in with your NVR's details. Once you're logged in, we want to quickly find our encryption key so we can see our camera feed. Head on over to your system configuration. Then network configuration followed by hit connect. Then on the right hand side, click on more configurations. Click on the eye to reveal your verification code. 
we'll copy it, then we'll head over to the local menu on the left hand side, and we can then paste our stream key into this field here. And once we've done that, hit save. Now from the left menu, click on event center, followed by event configuration, linkage configuration, then click on audible alarm output at the top. Choose your camera from the drop down menu here. It's a warning sound we want. Then you can choose from this drop down list here what you want the camera to say. We like to use attention please, the area is under surveillance. Now alarm times is the number of times the warning is said. Loudspeaker volume is set to maximum so it's as loud as possible but you can turn that down if you think it'll annoy your neighbours. Now here we can set the schedule for the voice alarm. We want it on from 8pm until 6am so we'll grab our erase tool and drag across here to 8 o'clock and we can then drag down to do the same for each day. You can set different times for different days. When you're done, remember to hit save. Now from the top menu, click on flashing alarm light output. Again, choose your camera from the menu. Flashing duration is how long you want it to stay flashing for. We'll leave that as 15 seconds. Frequency is how fast you want it to flash. We like a high frequency flash. Some people prefer to have it as normally on, so it further boosts the amount of light in the area, which helps with image clarity. Again, you can set your schedule, then hit save. Now from the left menu, go to event configuration, go to perimeter protection from the top menu, select your camera from the drop down menu. Intrusion detection, enable it and press add. Click on this draw area icon and then start marking on the image where you want your motion zone. We can then press on add again to create a second zone like this. Always remember to hit that save button. But we're gonna delete that second zone now and change the first one as we want the entire area covered. I'll simply drag these points to where I want them, like so. Now threshold is the number of seconds the person has to be inside of the zone before it triggers. I like to keep this at zero seconds so it triggers instantly. Sensitivity you can adjust based on the environment, keep it at 50 and adjust it accordingly. And we only want the camera to pick up humans, not vehicles. This camera also has AccuSense 3.0, Hikvision's built-in AI motion detection. It recognises people and vehicles while ignoring things like animals, leaves or light changes and you can choose which to focus on so you only get the alerts that actually matter. I've been using it for a while now and it really is so much better than the previous AccuSense. So we've got target validity as an option here that simply represents the AI's confidence score so how accurately it believes the target matches a human or vehicle. We'll set that as higher, reducing any false triggers. Arming schedule again, you can set the notifications at certain times. This also affects what time you get a notification to your phone. Then over to linkage action, we want to enable notify surveillance center. This is the notifications to the Hit Connect app. We then want to go to audio and light alarm and select both light and alarm for D4, which is our camera four. If you've got multiple cameras that have this feature, you'll see D1, D2, D3, etc. So make sure you select the correct camera here. And finally, hit save. And that is you, all done. Simple as that, really. All right, guys, as promised, it's giveaway time. I'm giving away this brand new Hikvision Colorview 3.0 camera, an eight megapixel 4K model, packed full of smart tech, is worth 200 pounds, and one of you watching is gonna win it. To enter, just comment down below why you think you should win, and make sure you include the keyword I mentioned earlier. If you don't, you won't be entered. I'll announce the winner in an upcoming video, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and bye-bye.